Hello, uh, I'm a girl. <laughs> Just gotta clear that up right away. I know some of you are staring at me like, is that a teenage Asian boy on stage? <laughs> nope, just a lesbian. <laughs> but I did skateboard here, so <laughs> kind of both. I know it's confusing. Like, I hate going to public bathrooms because I never know which one I should go into. And I think I should just start going to the men's room because no one would say anything to me. But I don't want people to think that I'm pooping all the time. <laughs> you know, it's like weird to take 30 second long poops, okay? <laughs> so usually I go to the ladies room, which I like better anyways. It smells nice, it's clean. Uh, but whenever I go in there, a lady will always look at me then look at the bathroom sign, very confused, then look back at me and point to the bathroom sign and go, this is the women's bathroom. Yeah, as if I can't read drawings. Right, look, we all saw the little triangle. That's a skirt, I know, okay? Like I've worn a triangle before. One time, or triangle, one time, and I was like, I don't like triangles, so. <laughs> now I just wear uh, two rectangles. <laughs> but that lady's always looking at me like she's expecting something, so I think the next time it happens, I'm just gonna like, pull my tampon out and give it to her. <laughs> Like, is this what you wanted? Are you the bathroom bridge troll? So, I had a pair of tampon and a pee, I didn't know, all right? The other thing I hate doing is flying, because every time I fly, I have to go through airport security, and you have to go through that full body scanner. You know the one where you pose for three seconds, and then it tells you if you're a terrorist or not. But I don't know if you know this, when you go through that machine, the agent actually has to pick your gender. That's how the machine works, right? So since I look like me, he always picks male, right? Then I go through the machine, and then he's like, ah, fuck, we gotta do it again. I'm like, what do you mean we have to do it again? Okay, like, you messed up. I feel like you just have to do it again, right? Even if I was carrying a bomb, just let me keep it, okay? That's good customer service. So they make me go through the machine twice, so I'm getting cancer twice as fast. <laughs> but sometimes when I go through the first time, the machine will go off, so the guy comes over, he starts patting me down, right? I don't say anything because it's nine in the morning, I'm tired, also it does nothing for me. <laughs> so he starts patting me down, and at right about uh, here, he realizes that he's wrong. <laughs> And then you could just see the color drain from his face. He's like, oh my God, this might be sexual harassment. And that just makes my day. Okay? Yeah. He thinks I'm gonna sue him, I'm not. But uh, you don't know that. Uh, just walk away and I wave and a wink. It's a fun little game I like to play. I mentioned I'm gay. I don't know if there's uh, other gay people in here or if uh, you know someone who's gay. That should cover it. Um, <laughs> like at this point, if you don't know anyone who's gay, uh, you're gay, you know? So, <laughs> I don't make the rules. I know I was gay my whole life, by the way, because growing up as a little girl, my favorite color was blue. <laughs> Very suspect move. <laughs> But I didn't come out to my mom until I was 19 because uh, I thought she wasn't going to be cool with it, you know? And finally, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to tell her. I go, Mom, I'm gay. And she just goes, I know. <laughs> Look at your hair. <laughs> and that was it. That was the entire conversation. <laughs> Very easy. So I would highly recommend coming out to my mom. <laughs> she already knows you're gay, you know? <laughs> But right after I came out to her, she was like, hey, let's go bra shopping. And I was like, this is a weird coming out present. <laughs> but sure, why not? I like free stuff, let's go. So we went to Macy's, my mom's favorite store, great deals. Right. Found this one bra, 50% off, gotta buy that. 
we buy it. I'm wearing it kind of recently, and my girlfriend at the time saw it, and she goes, uh, hey, um, isn't that a nursing bra? <laughs> I was like, no, this is a regular bra. What are you talking about? What's a nursing bra? <laughs> Turns out it was a nursing bra. <laughs> Yeah, which I learned is a special kind of bra that unhooks from the front so you can nurse a baby with it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. I just thought this is a cool extra function. Okay. Who doesn't want to take their bra on and off like overalls, right? They're bra overalls. Uh, it's good for fucking. So been wearing that bra a lot lately, and uh, I get my period every month, as you do. So I'm running out of pads, my mom saw this, she goes, hey, let me go buy you some more. I'm like, thanks, weirdo. <laughs> she needs new hobbies. Uh, so she runs a Target, comes back, she's like, oh my God, I found another great deal. Two for one pack of pads, they're extra big, cause I know you're a bleeder. <laughs> Why don't you try them on? Like, all right, thanks, mom. Uh, so I'm trying them on in my room as if I'm in a fitting room. I'm like, huh, these pants are kind of weird. Um, they're very big for some reason. I don't know what's happening in the bag. So I look at the bag to see what weird brand pads these are. Don't recognize it. I look below the brand. Turns out my mom bought me adult diapers. <laughs> yeah. And I've never been happier, okay? <laughs> that stuff works so well, way cheaper. So now I'm exclusively wearing adult diapers and nursing bras. Because I don't know how old I am, you know? I'm like, do I want to have a baby or do I want to be a baby? Just Benjamin buttoning from the top down.